everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Victoria and I'm back with you for another tarot reading today. Today's tarot reading is going to be called Are They My Friend or My Frenemy? So this is about any questions you have about um, a friend that you might not trust or a friend that's sort of um, acting a bit strange towards you, whether you've made a new friend and you're not sure you want to continue with a friendship or anything about friendship in general that you've got questions about. Today's reading is a pick a card reading where I have chosen, um, I've shuffled and chosen and dealt the tarot cards for each of the three piles. Now I've not seen these tarot cards, okay, so I can give you the best um, intuitive tarot reading for you today. So if you just concentrate on the pile of cards here and pick a number, either one two or three in your reading today. If you like this channel or anything I do or this reading, I'd be really grateful if you would subscribe to help me grow my channel. That'd be really, really kind. And um, turn on the notification bell and then you'll be informed of any other future videos I will be doing. Also, if you know anyone who would like this reading or would like to, or into tarot or anything, or even just someone you think you may like my channel, I would be It'd be very happy if you could share and then they could have a look as well. Um, let's go. So I will shut up for a little while and I'll take a few minutes while uh, you choose which number you want in your pile for your friend or frenemy reading today. Right, let's have a look what you picked and what cards have been picked for you for those of you who've chosen deck one in the tarot reading today. You have the nine of pentacles, the hermit, oh no, I'm going to, uh, judgment in reverse, I need to turn that round then but we'll have to read the reverse. Um, reading today the five of wands and the light is reflecting on your cards just bring those in a little bit okay let's have a look what we have here okay mm -hmm. i can straight away see um your five of wands okay right at the end of your reading it's funny that i'm starting to the end because this is what's going to happen in your future okay um this friend here is actually loyal okay but what's happened in your connection is that they may have asked too much of you recently and that might have put a little bit of strain on your friendship i can already see that straight away with the whole spread okay now what I feel like within your friendship is that you've had a few words, okay, where it's caused this person or both of you really to sort of retreat, okay, with this, you've got the hermit here in the second um, of the card in your reading, okay, so this person has retreated, okay, and gone back into their surroundings or has closed off, so this person might not be, um, answering your text messages or maybe even answering um your text messages but waiting a while before they answer them and maybe even quite short with their answers or not much written down basically they're retreating into their own little world right now okay so we need to find out why and what's happened okay now what i feel here okay this your friend has um I think your relationship has been going very well, okay? I do feel like there's a little bit of gossip going around, but there usually is with friends. But it's, they're not the person that started any kind of rumour because I hear they're sort of no gossip. They're not one to gossip and they didn't say anything. That's what I'm hearing with your friendship, okay? I also feel like this person is loyal to you, um, but I think um, 
that they want to chat. They want a little ch- chat with you. I was going to say chat. They want to chat to what's the situation that's going on. I feel like they want to talk, okay? At the minute, they've retreated. Maybe just to think about what they want to do or what they want to say to you. But they do want to talk to you, okay? So don't think they don't want to talk to you. They're just a little bit quiet right now. But with the judgment in reverse, okay? They, when the judgment is in reverse, it's almost like um, somebody has jumped to conclusions, okay? So I'm not sure if it's you or somebody else in your connection as well, in a group of friends, that they've accused your friendship maybe of got a bit of gossip I can feel is going around but your this friend that you're thinking about didn't start this gossip okay because they've been re- really are a loyal friend to you if that resonates with some of you it might not resonate with all of you okay the judgment is in um in reverse it's saying don't jump on it don't judge me because I didn't do it okay so this is why they've retreated because they're not because they're guilty, but because they've been blamed. OK, so they're telling you they didn't say anything to anybody because they've been really loyal to you. Also. Um, they this person is they're sort of saying I'm not myself at the minute. OK, I'm not coping. Um, I need to have a little chat with you. I think they sort of maybe they're not told you they want you to reach out but I feel like in spirit that this person wants you to reach out because they want they've got some things to say okay maybe they want to clarify your whole friendship okay now I also feel like there's five of wands that somebody has said not for all of you but for some of you there's some other friend is saying choose me or them yeah so they're saying to me, choose me or them. So that sort of decision, I reckon, has been told to you, okay? Either one friend doesn't like the other and you're st- I feel like you're stuck in the middle between two friends. So the one friend that you has been told that has gossiped about somebody has not done it and they've retreated into their own world, which makes them look a little guilty, but they're not because they didn't start the got piece of gossip in the first place. OK, I see like there's some kind of split and I feel like that you're in the middle of a group of friends where I sense that this person's being blamed for something. OK, and you're just wondering whether they are your friend or your friend, friend of me. OK, whether they started it, and whether they've been loyal. I feel in this reading, this person has been loyal. The person, the friend that you're thinking of. But the others have think of you're sure that they're loyal but I feel like the others in your group think that they've done something but they haven't they really haven't so they've retreated I truly believe it's you that needs to reach out to them and have this little chat because I feel like a little chat needs to be going on and then they they're going to tell you exactly what's happened and to clear everything up that's what I sense with this reading number one Okay, and that's what the tarot is saying to me today as well. So they're saying that, you know, they've they've retreated, so they don't know, they're a bit lost. So they're asking, I feel like they're asking you to reach out and talk to them to see if they can get things sorted out in your friendship. Okay, so they have been a loyal friend. For those that's those of you who've chosen um group one. Let's have a little drink here. My throat has gone dry. Okay, so that's what I feel with those of you who've chosen um, group one today with this reading. Okay, so if you like that reading or any of uh, my others on my channel, you're very free to check them out. Um, Please subscribe and um, turn on the notification bell. I will be uploading more. Um, I hope you enjoyed that reading as I like reading for all of you. And um, check in with me next time and I shall see you soon. And goodbye for now. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Hello. Welcome back to those of you who've chosen um, Pile 2 today. And let's have a look what your tarot wants to tell you today. The Eight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. There's a shadow forming on there. The Seven of Wands. Hmm, interesting. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, 
straight away there's a lot of pentacles energy here okay so this is something this reading in your friendship is about money and social status if you know what that means okay so in question of your friendship with this person okay with the queen of pentacles here this person thinks a lot of themselves okay they've got very high standards um yeah th basically they think they're fantastic at the minute um maybe they've come into money or um they're showing off a little bit with their their finances uh, doesn't it always have to be finances even with something that's happened to them i feel like they've they're um they're showing off basically and that's getting on everybody's nerves okay including yours but because you're the loyal friend that you are, you're still sticking by them when others have not stuck by them so much. If you know if that resonates with some of you, okay? That's what I'm sensing in this reading. All this, most of it, pentacles, 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 all the right way up senses this reading's about money, social status, material wealth. You know, this person might have bought a brand new beautiful car, brand new shoes status monetary status means a lot to your friend okay don't know why let's try and find out shall we now we're going right back to the beginning here with the eight of pentacles okay i feel like your friend has let me hold that up for you show you this picture that's the eight of pentacles i feel like your friend that you're talking about that you're thinking about in this reading he's trying to get you on their side okay i feel like they have got on a lot of people's nerves but because you're loyal and you're quite soft they're trying to win you round to their point of view of thinking they really don't think they're doing anything wrong in their behavior at the minute because they haven't got great behavior at the minute no idea what's happened to them they could have been a sort of person that never had very much money and then all of a sudden they've had some kind of social uplift yeah or a better job or something has happened to your friend that's gone <laughs> married money or something like that i'm not or going out with someone with money but it's to do with money finances status it's sort of look at me look at me you know i, I, I might have even uh, left a few old friends behind or the feeling of that you know i'm leaving you behind and i don't need you anymore that kind of thing not for all of you. This doesn't re resonate for all of you, but some of you, okay? Now, with the Ace of Pentacles, it's, yeah, they're trying to get you on their way of thinking, if that makes sense, okay? Um, maybe even turning things round to their side. Um, so you're against the others. I get that sense going on. Now, let's have a look what's next to it. We've got the Knave of Pentacles here, okay, which is actually the Page of Pentacles, when the knave of pentacles, and it's just another name for it, okay? It's an attention seeker. So this person's attention seeking in every way, shape, or form. In every part of every friendship at this moment in time. Doesn't mean they're going to stay this way, okay? Now, why are they doing this? Maybe I think they, your friend has not ever had anything like this before. It's totally new to them. So maybe though in the past they've always struggled and now they've got some kind of status going on and almost feel like they're rubbing it in your face sort of thing. Yeah? If that makes sense. Now the seven of wands here, okay? So it's an attitude problem, okay? Um, I also feel like this person's got a slight when you sort of say to them you know watch what you're saying and you know, don't show off a little bit too much and they're, they're sort of thinking well, what's your problem you know why it's almost like got a chip on the shoulder they're jealous of me or something i can just i can just hear it now okay with this friendship um they, they think that people are when you say anything they think they must be jealous of me so that's what but actually your friends just get on everyone's nerves because they don't no one likes to show off okay but i hear i feel like with the seven of wands this this person your friendship their attitude has made everyone sort of ice they, they're becoming isolated okay so they're standing there on their own i truly feel, believe that they've they've probably had a relationship with someone that's made them have quite a bit of money okay so they, they're isolating themselves because no one's accepting what's going on because 
you they might say, oh God, she's changed so much or they've changed so much. And really, I think it's born from um, a level of insecurity, maybe deep down insecurity for your person and something that's new, it's changed for them that they never had before. Okay, so this person has struggled in the past and now they've got something. So they might enjoy showing off a little bit, okay? If that makes sense with you. Now, you're quite a softie, so what they're trying to do with your eight of pentacles here, I feel like they're trying to get you onto their side, yeah? And maybe against somebody else. But, you know, I, could, I can only advise you, Tarot can only advise you on what to do. OK, so in the end, you're going to make up your own mind. Tarot is a guide. OK, when you see the tarot cards, it's not supposed to tell you what to do. It's just supposed to help you to tell you what to do, if you know what I mean. It's just to guide you to a decision. OK, ultimately, you make your own decisions with this friendship in the end. OK, it's up to you whether you are which way you want to go or um, you're your own person. So you make up your own mind. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I see. For those of you who've chosen um, deck two in this reading today. And um, check out my other videos if you would like. Or if this doesn't resonate with you, maybe come back and pick one of the other numbers. Or maybe if you've got a different question you're wondering about, I have um, a few videos on my channel now and you can check those out, no problem. And I will see you soon for another reading. And... Um, Turn on the notification bell and click subscribe and help me to grow my channel. I'll be really, really grateful. Okay, so I'll see you um, for now and um, look after yourself and those around you and stay safe. Okay, so bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome back to those of you who've chosen uh, number three in our friendship tarot reading today. So let's have a look what tarot cards want to say to you today in your friend or frenemy reading we have the knight of cups oh and i've just knocked my camera i've got to be so careful of that the whole thing's going to collapse and the star and a light on the star <laughs> and the four of pentacles in reverse and the five of swords oh okay hmm Right, I just have a little sip of tea before we start the reading today. Okay, not much sugar in that. Should have put more sugar in it. A little bit of a stir. Right, now, with this friendship, with this friend that you've had, I feel, okay, your past, I feel like it's quite a new friend, okay? If it's not a new friend, it's somebody that you've known in the past and have become friends, yeah? In a different kind of relationship because what I see for you is that you, this friendship has grown out of a friendship um, that a, a healthy and unhealthy relationship that you were in, okay? So I don't know if your friend has helped you out of a not very nice relationship because I feel with the five of swords here that you weren't in a good place when you met your friend, okay? Or a good situation or a, a, you've come out of a, a... I can see there's something that was quite heavy energy going on when you met your friend, okay? And I feel like your friendship has been really loyal to you in this situation that you were in yeah because this five of swords is uh the loss of a friendship yeah but i don't believe that it's the friendships you've got now because you've got the too many um positive cards around this one five of swords usually means loss or the or not something that's quite heavy energy or a bad relationship that you were in this is this is what i feel like your situation is going to uh, was okay so when your friend came along they could have even sort of you might have often said they saved you okay um this person your friend with a star card here is an extremely extremely good friend okay i sense it could even be quite a new friendship or a renewing of a friendship maybe you knew this person in the past and this person's going to stick by your side i feel like they're an emotional 
there's an emotional tie between you two. Okay. Um, they've definitely helped you through some troubled, troubled times. They've been your rock when you've needed a massive shoulder to cry on, I feel. Um, yeah, the, this, this person, your friend, I feel here with the Knight of Cups and with the Star card, they, they like a good laugh and you do have a good laugh together. The friend is also quite a dreamer, okay? So you might sort of dream up fantasies maybe. Um, one day I'm going to marry Prince Charming and then we're going to do this and we might go on holiday and let's plan this and let's plan. I feel like that's the friendship that you have. It's really, really nice friendship to have with your person. I believe they've saved you from another relationship of some kind or another not very nice situation and your friend was always there in the background trying to get you out of it that's why i sent her this this reading okay now should we read the knight of cups okay as i said your friend's a bit of a dream and they're quite artistic and both of you together love beauty and art um i feel like you might be going to get your nails done hair done you might be talking about getting your nails done you know it's about the, it's about beauty beautifying yourself artistic it's all about beauty and everything that goes with it okay if we're talking about friendship between people that's what we're talking about so it's sort of good times yeah shows that you two have good times and good times will come between both of you because that's what we're saying now We've got this four of pentacles in reverse, okay? We'll read this, yeah? So for some reason, there's a slight, slight blockage, okay? It's a very small one, but I feel like your friend is telling you, um, I need to spend more time with you, yeah? They need to speak to you a bit more often, maybe a few more messages if you're not um, in each other's houses at the minute which is possible but they're telling you i need to speak to you and see you a bit more often i think they're missing you terribly as much as i think believe you're missing them you're missing the laugh that you have between you i feel like this is a good friendship okay i feel like your person's been on your side and will continue to be on your side and you could re remain really really good friends that's what i feel in this connection okay now with the five of swords I feel like they have been by your side. You've had some not very nice times, yeah? This person's been by your side. You've supported each other, actually. But definitely she's been, she or he has been supporting you, okay? Um, so your friend is telling you, I need some more time with you. Maybe you could FaceTime them a little bit more often or message them a bit more. I think they're miss just basically missing you. Yeah? So... If they're friend or friend enemy, they're your friend, okay? Their their loyal friendship is going on here with this reading. If that makes sense to you, it resonates with you, okay? So this is a loyal friendship, and you're very lucky to have a friend like um this one supporting you, yeah. So that's what I see for those of you who chose number three in your reading today. So if you like that reading, I'd be very grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and maybe even share the video to your friend or anyone else you might like to see it. That will help me build my channel. I'll be really, really grateful if you do that. Please come back and check my new videos and I will be uploading more. And if you turn on the notification bell, um, you'll be notified when I do upload any more. Well, YouTube should notify you. And I hope you liked that reading as much as I enjoyed reading for you because I love, I, this is my passion tarot, yeah? So I shall see you soon and please take care of yourself and those who uh, are around you. So I'll see you soon and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.